This is the Sports Hit List. By the fans, for the fans. Championship belt. Carl Coulange for the Sports Hit List. By the fans and for the fans. This is another one of those conversation debate types about what's the better looking belt. If I had to make an argument, the best looking belt is right here in the Hitler streets. The one and only. This one is personal because my Hitler's contributors uh, helped get this one out. Clint uh, did a great job in designing it. Um, I had no idea when I received it. I was choked up to the point where I'm getting choked up talking about it. So segment's over. This is the only belt that's that matters. It, that's it. That's the one. There's no other that's belt that one. matters. This is the only May belt, the social media Hitler's championship. That's it. TK, what are your thoughts on championship belts? I mean, this is this is the one and only. This is the top of the tier, right? So the cream of the crop. The cream of the crop. Yep, and it's 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 in a level of its own. So then we got to look beneath it if we want to talk about anything. Yeah, but honestly, really seriously talking though, um, the championship belt. This was Nick's segment, but we're gonna cook for him. Mm -hmm. uh, it does hold the kind of you want to look. It, it looks the look is always like oh yeah. ah right. We clearly see the options in the pictures we have here, and we're kind of reminiscing about what title looks best. If I had my choice, the world title. The world title and the 2014 Intercontinental white strap. Now mm -hmm. I've seen that the, the black strap was great in the 90s. I guess I'm nostalgic to my era, right? Mm -hmm. So those two titles, the world title, the big gold one, um, the Intercontinental white strap, and the 90s tag team title, those would be my titles. I'd say, oh, those are the ones like I really, really like. Yeah, and those are all, I mean, you're taking the words out of my mouth. I love the big gold belt. So it's it's iconic. It's it's everlasting. WWE just brought it back because they know how good of a design it is. And I love the white intercontinental strapped belt because when Cody Rhodes brought that back in like 2011, 2012, after we had that oval intercontinental title, which is ugly, ugliest belt we had the intercontinental during the ever Attitude was. Era one, yeah, right? Yeah, that was ugly. Yeah. Yeah, it went all the way through ruthless aggression. They never made a change. Um, but uh, that one was kind of ugly. So I love those two, but I do have some that aren't as popular. Uh, to me, you know, I love the big gold belt. And if you think back to 2000, you know, 2000, 2001, the circular WWE title belt. It wasn't the winged eagle belt that everyone loves. It was kind of that more circular. One, right? just a, yeah, yeah, just a WWE title. And you had Chris Jericho with both of them. That one kind of had a short run, though. It went from 98 to 02, and 02, then they changed it to the... To uh, universal. The, uh, well, the Undisputed, I should say. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. that one was a little play, too. That one looked more like a tag title. That That's the one Eddie really Guerrero called. held. Brock yeah, had that Brock one for had a long. That one. Yeah. yeah. And then they retired that for another one I love, and I may be the only one. You know, I know guys like, you know, uh, Ryan, who's helping out, love this belt as well, but the spinner belt for me. Uh, I love that belt. I think it looked great on CM Punk. Uh, I think it was a nice shiny gold belt that, that always looked cool. Uh, a lot of people hated on it, but I wasn't one of those people. I think it looked better than, you know, a lot of the plain kind of, you know, the Universal Champion of now, they're just changing the color, you know, blue, red, gold, whatever it is. I think back then there was a lot more inventiveness in it. So uh, just someone coming out with a spinner belt or any of the specialty belts. Stone Cold with the Smoking Skull belt I thought was really cool. The Rock with his Brahma Bull belt. You know, having some of those ones are great. Yeah, so when, when you talk about, I guess the spinner belt was more tailored towards Cena, right? But then they still kept it even though Cena didn't have it. Yes. So during his era, like he introduced it, he also introduced the U.S. spinner belt. Yes. So I, because it was a custom, because of Cena and because of his character at the time, I thought it was cool to the point where Edge kind of had his own to it. The rated R but spinner belt. I always think it's kind of dynamic, and I, I'm curious to when a wrestler becomes champion, is there a conversation about them getting their custom-made belt? Because I just said to you, the last real wrestler who had their own custom was Daniel Bryan, right? Yeah, like eagle-friendly belt. Yeah, right? So I, I think, you know, if you think about it, Daniel Bryan had his own custom, Stone Cold, Rock, Cena, Edge, and I don't think there was anybody well, else. Well, Miz would hold it upside down so the W looked like an M. Yeah, but I mean, anybody else really didn't have their own custom championship belt. Yeah. I, thought, I, I thought those were kind of cool in themselves. The Winded Eagle one from the 90s, everyone loves that one. That's a classic WWE Yeah, that is a classic but when, you could, but when you put that Winded Eagle to everybody else, it's kind of small, though. No, it is. It. I think that's why, like, the one that Hogan won in, like, 84, and you see it, it's, like, a little bit of gold and the green strap. It almost looks like the 24-7 belt did. Uh, you know, that tiny little belt. It's not so cool. That's why I love the big gold belt, because, you know, you see a guy like Edge wearing it, and he comes out, and it's covered half of his abdomen. It just looks huge. It looks yeah, great. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, the, the tag team belts, for me, just never seem to hit until... I guess, like I said, I'm stuck in the 90s. Like, the, the one during the Attitude Era or the Ruthless Aggression with the World Championship because they split them up. They split them up. WWE and then they had the, the, tag, and then they had the, uh, the World and then the ones, uh, the WWE, right? Mm -hmm. They never really hit for me. The no. new Intercontinental Championship is trash. I'm sorry. Some sorry, people like Gunther's it. great, but the title, the, is trash. the title looks horrible. Yeah, I, I no, never liked it. I don't know why they moved away from the, uh, from the white one, the yeah. white strap when they moved away from it. 
Um, I the, think it was recently they moved away from it, right? Yeah, they moved away from it. Uh, Shinsuke was the one that had the new belt, and I think he was champion. Maybe it was like 2019, 2020. Could be a little later. Yeah, than that. I, I never really liked it. The women's championship belt, the original one, it was okay. It never really stood out to me. But Better I, than the Divas. The Divas looked like a toy. Oh, yeah, it was, ter- it was terrible. The Divas is on the terrible um, side of things. The Divas championship's terrible. Uh, that new Intercontinental title. Uh, the Hardcore Championship. Were you ever a fan of that one? I mean... It was the old Winded Eagle just broken up. Just broken up with yeah. the Hardcore tape on it. Yeah. I mean, I liked it when Mick Foley had it because it was yeah, a joke. Yeah, it but. was cool. But like I said, classic for me tag team championship belt was the old one. Was yeah, the, no, was the, the 90s one. Then, one was great. And I always told my brother, when I get some money, I, we need some tag team titles. That'd be, that'd be awesome. That'd be <laughs> but cool I, have. I, I always thought when they sell them, they would sell them in two, like you get two for one. Oh, they don't do that? No, not for the tag belts. It's, but that don't make sense. So it's like it's the same price. It's like four ninety nine for each of oh, the belt. That's and I'm a little, just that's like, a little, that's a little, that's a little too much. Yeah, yeah. That's a little yeah. Rough. it that's is, a little rough. it is. I think Deb is allowing me to get one more. She said no more belts. Okay. Like I got two. She's like, don't you have enough? I'm like, no. No, you never have enough. You never. I was just looking at the. <laughs> I was looking at the Intercontinental Title Belt the other day, looking at it, just kind of see. They didn't have it. It wasn't available. The white strap one. Yeah, yeah, They yeah, didn't yeah. have it anymore. Yeah, uh, I know. No. I, I, I got. That I don't want one. this new Intercontinental Belt. I don't want it. I got that one as a graduation gift to myself. Nice. In 2011, and then this I graduated this year. I'm like, I gotta get the white strap, and I looked it up, <laughs> and it wasn't available. And I'm just like, oh no, right? So you, it'll come available again. They re-release things. I feel. Yeah, like, yeah, know. but that that would be the one I would really want. Yeah, the white strap cool. one. If I couldn't get it, I thought about getting the black strap, but I'm like, stick to my guns. Get it in the white strap. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, it's the coolest looking one, and and it's, it's rare that you know you have a, a white, a red, a blue strap where it makes the championship look cooler. And that one it actually does, because they do have that with the black, and they have another one I think with the gold strap with that intercom tell Yeah, title, that so. was during I guess during the 90s where yeah. you had two titles at some point with yep. Razor and Sean. Razor and Sean. So they both had it with the white strap or not and Sean had to give it up mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So there, there is the where one they with the stole Brett's ladder match. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> they didn't steal his ladder match. He fought his totally brother at WrestleMania stole 10. stole his That's ladder That's a conversation match. for another day. <laughs> but pick one title for the rest of your life. You have to pick one title. You if know I what had my, to... title <laughs> my title is. Well, is. that's all you. If I had to pick one title for the rest of my life, Big gold belt. That's it. There you have it. TK says big gold belt. I'm going with the Hitless Championship. Like, share, comment. Let us know what's your favorite looking WWE or any promotional championship that's out there. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the Sports Hit List. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. In fact, do it now.